may be not as newsworthy, but electric two-wheelers are rapidly gaining popularity and the growth of their sales numbers outpaces those of electric cars and trucks. Not only do these motorbikes satisfy the demands for individual mobility, but also open up new dimensions of everyday commute that is now associated with gut-punching acceleration and nearly free of charge fuel and maintenance costs. Today we'd like to dive into the topic of electric motorcycles and cover the latest developments in the field. Spoiler alert! Big-name manufacturers continue to enter the segment. Ranges on the rise and affordable models are no longer a myth. So stick around with automotive territory for a dose of electric news. Subscribe, ring the bell and enjoy the ride! Triumph TE1 The story of this electric bike project began back in May 2019. The joint efforts of Triumph itself, Williams Advanced Engineering, Integral Powertrain, Warwick University WMG Department and Innovative UK with the funding coming from two British government agencies. In almost three years, the project completed three development stages and now has been revealed in its pre-production guise. The bike features an all-new chassis with a single-sided swing arm, Allens USD cartridge forks, unique prototype RSU shock from the same brand, and Triumph designed wheels with Brembo M50 monoblock calipers. Its powertrain combines efforts of a WAE battery a scalable integrated inverter, and a combined motor with silicon carbide switching technology, both by integral powertrains. Preliminary numbers suggest 106 horses of continuous power and 174 peak. By the end of summer of 2022, Triumph plans to finish its real-world testing of the prototype and by the next year reveal the final version of the bike with updated bodywork and exterior colors. Zero SRF Probably the best naked within the family of electric motorcycles, the SRF absorbs the latest tech upgrades offered by Zero for the 2022 model year. The major introduction is the new ZF7510 motor that effortlessly makes 110 horsepower and 140 pound feet of torque. Next up is the revised selection of battery modules. The ZF14.4 Plus is the new standard pack with 118 miles on the combined cycle. But if one goes for the premium spec version with the Cypher Store upgrades and a power tank, the range extends to 172 miles. As usual, Zero installs only the premium components, like Showa suspension, Bosch advanced stability control, j Huan brakes and a dashboard with the advanced Cypher 3 operating system and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Finally, in 2022 the Zero SRF is offered in a unique quick strike version. Limited to 100 units, it was inspired by the Pike's Peak build and gets unique exterior elements. Stark Vark This Barcelona-based startup with the Swedish roots has a rather ambitious mission to prove that electric bikes are the future of the motocross industry. Their new model delivers up to 80 horsepower and weighs just a bit over 240 pounds, being lighter than most of the conventional motocross machines of the same class. Moreover, the company developed application can instantly adjust the motor power curve, its braking, traction control and virtual flywheel weight, allowing you to mimic nearly a hundred of possible riding modes. Every VARC comes with a host of industry-leading equipment, such as Kayaba suspension front and back, Golfer performance brakes with a Brembo hydraulic system, and extra durable wheels with CNC-machined aluminum hubs and rims. Stark does not mention what range can we expect from the bike's 6 kWh battery, but they promise nearly one hour of high-output riding and up to six hours of light-duty run. Energica Motorcycles of 2022 Energica's entire lineup is making a comeback in 2022, still comprising of a hyper-naked Eva Rebel, a retro-styled standard SAS9 and a Superbike Ego. 
The major developments for the Italy's most advanced electric motorcycles are new color options and the new liquid-cooled hypersynchronous three-phase EMC motor. Co-developed with the motor specialist Mayville, this unit uses fewer magnets, hence the weight is reduced by 22 pounds, along with the reduction of environmental and production costs. The new motor has the same dimensions for easy retrofitting, and the lighter rotor also increases acceleration and braking power. These models are represented in three trim variants, Standard, Plus and Plus RS, and their specifications range from 107 to 169 horsepower, 133 to 159 pound-feet of torque, and the maximum combined range reaches 153 miles. Expectedly, these premium machines get high-end Murasaki suspension components and Brembo brakes. RGNT Motorcycles Classic and Scrambler Jonathan Astrom's approach to silencing the streets of the West implies hand assembly of electric bikes from components sourced from local businesses. The CEO and founder of RGNT Motorcycles established his operation in Kungsbaka, Sweden. Inspired by the 1950s and 60s bikes, the model lineup includes two designs – Classic and Scrambler. These are powered by a modern drivetrain, incorporating a 15-horsepower rear hub motor and a 7.7-kilowatt-hour battery pack. The range is limited to 70 and 112 miles in the city highway cycles, and the daily commute at 75 mph top speed should feel rather dynamic. RGNT Motorcycles equips its bikes with mismatched 18 and 17-inch wheels wearing Avon Trail Rider tires. The Raji Juan brakes 35mm Piaoli Siriani replica fork with 120mm travel and a rear suspension with adjustable spring preload. Each model will come out of the factory with a leather seat, 7-inch LCD screen, built-in GPS and full LED lights. If you haven't already, now would be a perfect time to smash the like button. We have to speed up the electric revolution. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Damon Hyperfighter Originally, the Canadian manufacturer Damon Motorcycles came up with the Hypersport, and this is basically its stripped-down version. The first 100 units will be produced in the most capable Colossus trim. The model's proprietary hyperdrive powertrain is located at the heart of the monocoque chassis in the form of an integrated unit that incorporates a battery, a motor, and control electronics. The most powerful Hyperfighter Colossus boasts a 200 horsepower liquid cooled electric motor used by a 20 kilowatt hour battery pack. This combination allows for 140 miles of range and the top speed of 170 mph. Corresponding to its flagship status, the Colossus is equipped with high end carbon fiber wheels, L in suspension, and Brembo brakes, as well as some in house built in tech like the co pilot system. The latter is a 360-degree advanced warning system that uses radars, cameras and sensors to learn the driver's habits and warns you of dangerous situations. Vimoto Stash Created specifically for the European and North American markets, this is the first motorcycle that will be marketed under the premium V-Motor brand by the Shanghai Super Soko. The model has compact dimensions, 31-inch seat height and 232 pounds weight, but was designed to offer more grown-up looks than the regular electric commuters. To make this a reality, V-Motor recruited the Italian C-Creative, who gave the bike unique styling with all-LED lighting and four fuel tank. To meet the demands of its target buyers, the Stash received an 8-horsepower hub motor and a robust 7.2kWh battery pack. The latter is positioned lower in the chassis, freeing space for a full-face helmet storage compartment. The system promises 65 mph max velocity and up to 155 miles of range, at the average speeds of 28 mph. It also gets a full suspension setup represented by a telescopic fork and a hydraulic shock absorber plus 17-inch wheels with single disc brakes.
Tromox Uko. Established just two years ago, the Chinese Tromox is soon to have three motorcycles on the road. Out of this lineup, the Uko is the largest model and it should go on sale this spring. In terms of its size and handling, it could be compared to the Honda Kram if it had an all-electric version. The model has funky styling, gets all-LED lighting and offers three modifications. These differ in standard equipment, but compared by the same mid-drive electric motor rated for 11 HP and a 4 kWh battery pack with 110 miles potential. Tromox claims that the torque output reaches 115 pound-feet at the wheel and quotes 4 seconds 0 to 62 acceleration. The top speed is capped at 62 miles per hour. Lastly, the bike can be equipped with CBS or ABS brakes, a full-color TFT display, and dual front and rear cameras with IP68 waterproof rating. Cake work. The new line of bikes by the Swedish Cake is oriented towards all sorts of tradesmen, though many ordinary riders would find the extra cargo accessories quite handy for the daily commute. The work series will be built on Cake's three main models – Mecca Moped, also utility motorcycle, and Cog Dirt Bike. These electric two-wheelers utilize a proprietary powertrain that makes from 2.7 horsepower in the former model and up to 14.6 in the latter. The range was increased to 52 and 100 miles respectively, plus all of the models have increased towing capacity and more compact design, such as narrower handlebars, to easily navigate the city traffic. There are up to 19 complete configurations, specifically tailored to the needs of delivery riders, craftsmen and service professionals. Lastly, one of the major advantages of the work cakes is the ability to use their batteries for the off-grid power for tools and devices. DAB Motors Concept ERS Burberry Edition For this 20-unit limited edition, the French manufacturer partnered with the British luxury fashion house Burberry. Available in two exclusive graphics, metallic grey or midnight blue, the Concept ERS features a custom seat made from monogrammed Italian leather and plenty of Burberry branding across the bodywork and the rims. The handlebar grips are also embossed with the TB monogram pattern while the front plate with integrated OLED screen gets a Burberry animated logo. The special edition also benefits from a fully adjustable Allen suspension and a Behringer braking system. Performance-wise, the bike is no different from the regular models, featuring a 12-horsepower motor and a 4.7 kWh battery pack, which keep the concept TRS within the legal equivalent of a 125cc gasoline bike. Ducati Moto E Starting from the 2023 season, Ducati will become the sole supplier of motorcycles for the FIM NL Moto E World Cup, which is the electric class of the MotoGP World Championship. This racing superbike, codenamed V21L, was developed by the joint efforts of the Ducati Corsi team and the Ducati R&D engineers under the management of Roberto Canet, Ducati e-mobility director. The prototype of the Ducati Moto E has been a Gali-inspired design and has already been spotted on the Misano circuit going through its paces. Would you agree that electric bikes are getting closer to possessing adequate prices and specifications? Would you consider a battery-powered model for your next bike? I am eager to hear you out in the comment section below. Become a member of our community by subscribing to the channel, ring the notification bell and like likeity like. Automotive Territory will be back soon. Till then, may the torque be with you!